everyone. Um, my name is McKenna, and today I'm going to be making tiramisu, which is a traditional Italian dessert. Um, it only takes about 10 minutes to prepare, so I'm going to start with showing you which ingredients I need. Um, you need some Kahlua, which um, is coffee liquor, so you have to be over 21 to buy it, but I am, so it's okay. <laughs> um, then you need some sugar. You need some heavy whipping cream, which I stole from my job. Um, you need some mascarpone cheese, some vanilla extract, some cocoa powder, some lady fingers, which these aren't like actual lady fingers, um, but they're like a really good substitute. I couldn't find any at the store. They are incredibly difficult to find. And then 12 ounces of espresso, which I also stole from my dog. Uh, the first step is we're gonna move all of these out of the way and we're gonna take this bigger bowl that we have and we're gonna start with the heavy whipping cream. Um, we need one and a half cups, so we're going to take take that and dump it into the bowl. Then we need to mix, with that we need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we just need one teaspoon. So we've got that going in there now. And we also need a third cup of sugar. Let's see how much we have. I think that's enough. So then we're done with the sugar and we need one oh, mascarpone cheese, like the most important part. And we're going to use this whole container. It is eight ounces. <laughs> See, like a major theme for this video is that I don't know how to open anything. <laughs> The mixture that we just made, we're gonna um, use a mixer to mix it around on the lowest setting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna check it. That is not good. So we're gonna continue. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I think that's as good as it's gonna get. So this is actually the second time I made this because the first time it tasted really good, but it went very bad. Um, a bunch of cocoa powder exploded on me and like a whole bunch of stuff happened, but... Um, but the consistency of this, of this was a little thicker, so I'm not really sure what exactly happened but um i think it also tastes good so that's fine either way um just that's kind of like it should be like fluffy almost and as you can see this looks like runny <coughs> all right so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take I taped this so that it wouldn't spill all over my car, but now I see it was a bad idea. So we're going to take our 
shots of espresso. And we need one and a half cups of that. And that's about two cups, but that's fine. Okay. And then we're gonna take our alcohol. We only need three tablespoons. So now we're gonna take our ladyfinger cookies. which we cannot open. And it requires that you use a whole pack of them. So um, you, dunk, you take one of the cookies, dunk it in the liquid and set it in the tray. And then you just keep doing that. You only want to let it soak for like a couple seconds um, because it will absorb a lot more of the liquid when it sits in the fridge for a couple of hours and that will make it like the cakey consistency that you want. All right, so I actually did go ahead and mix this a little bit more off camera. Um, the first time I made this for this project, um, the consistency was a lot thicker the way that it should be and the first time I did not have enough heavy whipping cream um, for the recipe, but I honestly think that it might call for a little bit too much um, because it should not be this runny. But so now that I have my layer of cookies down, I'm going to put a layer of this on top. Yeah, this looks way too thin. This is one of my favorite desserts, um, but I've never actually made it for myself. I've always just, um, I'm very picky about it, but I've never um, actually made it. My mom has made it plenty of times and she showed me how to do it and it should not look like this. So I don't know what it's having. It should be like fluffy instead of more like an icing, like this looks like. But okay, so we've got the first layer covered. So then we're gonna go ahead and just repeat the process. Um, yeah, so this is just not really how this should look. Um, it should be a lot more covered, like it should almost look like a frosting. I think because it is so thin and it shouldn't be, I'm gonna like do a little pull. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna just make sure and it soaks over all the cookie. And then we are on our final step. We need to take some cocoa powder. And as you guys saw in the clip I inserted from the last time I tried to do this, it exploded all over me. So I'm gonna try a different method. And I'm gonna take this and just drizzle it over. It still went a little crazy, but significantly less so than last time. So that's fine. So you just sprinkle that on the top and then you take this, your completed dish, and you put it in the, I almost said microwave, in the fridge for three to four hours. Some people like to do it overnight, but I've found um, from all of my tiramisu eating experience that that, that lets it sit for a little bit too long. Um, so I think three to four hours is like the way to go and then it should be ready for eating.